We're happy to have you here with us. I, I, I love you very much, you know that. Uh, the last time you were here, uh, you had not won an Academy Award. Since I've seen you, you have won an Academy Award. True. 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 That was a very lovely, amazing experience. Yeah. And then, yeah. The, so the whole family was there. Your mom was there, your kids were there. Yeah, and I went the first time to the Academy Awards when my mom was nominated as a seven-year-old. So to be back there with my mother and with my children was really moving and really, really special. Yeah, I bet. I'm sure. And your son is now, which is crazy. Crazy. 20 years old. Yeah. Graduated during the global pandemic, so we didn't get to catch up on all the things that have happened to all our lives. But he graduated. He's doing amazing, uh, making incredible music now. And my daughter is 17. God. So that crazy. is crazy. So you were, where did you go? Because I saw that you jumped in the ocean for him for his 20th birthday. That's a big birthday present, to jump in the ocean. Yes, it was in the North Sea in England, and it's the coldest experience I have had. Ever. Do you like getting it? Oh, some people do that because it's a good thing to do for your body. Do you yes. like doing that? or you? I, I've heard it's very good for you. Uh -huh. I'm from Santa Monica, California. Uh -huh. So when it's like 72 degrees, I'm grabbing a sweater. Maybe yeah. even a parka. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, so it was completely a ritual. I was so thrilled. I threw myself in because he loves the ocean and he wanted to be there and he loves to surf. And this was going to be my act of bravery for him because he makes fun of me. And it was amazing. And then I got out of the water. And I'd forgotten a towel. <laughs> or, or really how I was going to get back to my friend's home or transportation. So I, I subsequently have never been so cold in my entire life. But it was totally worth it. What did it you do? Proud. You had no towel. What did you do? I ended up just being freezing and wet and getting a ride from a friend to someone else's house in the English countryside. And it was an amazing experience. Wow but I, I kind of don't mind yeah. Santa Monica yeah. <laughs> either. Think it through next time, you yeah. do the, Wim, the Wim Hof method. Um, <laughs> and your daughter is, is uh, looking to get into this business, which I think is incredible because it'll be, how many generations will that be? Because Yeah, third generation actor and, and for my son, third generation musician because Ben Harper, their dad's parents are musicians. So there is something very moving about it and I, I mean, Jaya is 17. I started very young at 11, but um, I'm so happy that she's waiting and wants to go to school, but really knows in her heart she wants to act. And maybe if she does, we'll end up having the privilege of, of working together one but, day. But why is she waiting? I mean, you didn't, you were 11 when you started, so are you making her wait or she wants to wait? There's a, there's a TV on right now. <laughs> so we can talk about this okay, later. you don't want her to see this. <laughs> um, yeah, um, actually, you once... just said you started at eleven. I didn't yeah. out you. You outed but, yourself. <laughs> but she did. She does often say you didn't wait, and yeah, I basically make her wait. Oh, you're making her wait. Yeah. You do you wish they would have made you wait? In a way, I forced them, and I lied, and I pushed, and I lied about my age. And to I your said parents? I was older to everybody. I told my parents. <laughs> I told my parents I was 15. They were very busy. They didn't I remember. I uh, <laughs> so, but I just kind of kept pushing. But I also saw the consequences of not being in school. Just yeah, having doing a, my thing. A, a, a childhood. A, a, yeah. Yes. I think that's well. That's what she should do. Yes. You're right exactly. to make her wait. Yeah. Um, so tell us about this. I mean, what can you tell us? Because uh, we don't know anything about this except that it's kind of everyone, right? It's the reunion, everyone. and it's, it's everyone who's ever been in the Jurassic world. Yes, literally, and every dinosaur, and maybe more. There are dinosaurs. Is that a spoiler? Hopefully. You, I, hopefully did not know, I did not know that. Now I, yes, I don't want to see there it. There will be dinosaurs. All right. But it was incredible. I yeah. mean, it was incredible to be back with Sam Neill and Jeff Goldblum, the three of us from the original film, with the Jurassic World cast. Um, and particularly amazing and intimate that we ended up living together because we were the first film back during the pandemic. So we quarantined together in the countryside and where was it property in England outside of London uh -huh. near Pinewood Studios and it was five months of a family. Wow. So that's it was, amazing. It was radical actually. I would I would I would imagine that it's a different from the first one as far as technology. 
very different. <laughs> and what's incredible is people ask me often, you know, when you made the first film, what was it like being in a blockbuster? We were making this pioneered experiment of Steven Spielberg with ILM, who came together with Stan Winston, who built these incredible animatronics. But ILM designed computer-generated imagery that we hadn't seen in a movie before. So we had no idea what they were doing. I mean, we were staring at a X on a piece of paper in a tree. And right. um, I remember on the first day having no idea what it would look like, except that Stephen had this dream to bring dinosaurs back for all of us to witness. Um, we had to look at the sound of a roar for the first time, the cast. It's one of the opening scenes of the movie. And they said, action. And just as we're supposed to respond to the dinosaur, everyone looked a different way because there was no sound. So we said, Stephen, can you please help us? We have to be able to look at the same time. He was like, oh, yeah, 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 I've got this, I've got this. Action. And over a megaphone, Stephen goes, roar! <laughs> and we were like, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> Um, so this time we knew the dinosaurs will probably look uh -huh. real and there were even sounds. I was like, there's a real sound of a dinosaur someone's playing for us. So it was amazing. Well, but are, they able, are they able to reenact what a dinosaur would have sounded like now? They probably would be able to do that now. Yes, and it's radical hearing all the different animal sounds they've used to sort of create this one terrifying, wow. sometimes adorable. So. Uh-huh. But scary. Yeah. All Always right. Scary. I can't wait. All right. More with Laura after this. We are back with Laura Derm. Uh, uh, Laura Derm? Did I call you Derm? Yes. Well, it's our, it's, we have our That's what I call names. her. Nobody yeah. knows that. That's her, that, our <laughs> secret word. Derm. Um, next month is the 25th anniversary of the coming, at, coming out episode that we were on together. Um, and. <laughs> And, you know, that was a pivotal moment, obviously, in my life, in my career, and everything. And for you to have been a part of that, um, and then now for you to be a part of this, this ending of this chapter of my life is, uh, is big. So, uh, you know, as I said in the introduction, you're, you're a very special person to me. So thank you for being a part of that chapter, and thank you for being a part of this chapter. <laughs> I'm profoundly moved to have been part of that origin story of, of you being your authentic self for all of us and the closure of that chapter while then you've given us these incredible 19 years. Um, and I mean, I'm just, I want to take this time to say, how do you feel? How do you feel at the closure of this time with us on this show? I feel uh, really emotional. I feel like some, some days are easier than other days. Some days I, I just cry. Um, and um, I'm gonna miss it. It's just, as, you know, as it keeps getting closer and closer, we only have five more weeks of taping. Um, so we're, we're all feeling it. We're all getting, <laughs> Twitch and I are, even Twitch is crying. Like, we're, we're all taking turns <laughs> crying. Um, and, um, it's emotional. It, this was a this was big. This was 19 years of me um, being able to bring a lot of joy to a lot of people, and there is nothing like knowing that to have a feeling that you've you've made people happy, that you've given love and joy on wow. this scale. Yeah. I mean, can we just? get emotional asking this, but can't we all agree on some kind of shared ritual that we're going to do every day at three? I mean, what are you going to be doing? And can we uh, just copy that? I don't know what I'm going to do. I honestly, people ask me what I'm going to do. I'm taking some time to really reflect on what the next thing is. I mean, yeah. I started in stand up because I love making people laugh and I love making people happy. And then it, it turned into a sitcom and then it turned into this talk show and, and it'll be some form of, of that. I don't know what form it's gonna take. I didn't know this was gonna happen when, when this started. So, but like I said, I love, 
what what this show has been. I am proud of this show, and I think everyone who works here is proud to have been a part of something that that hadn't happened in Dane Tide before. This was music became a giant part of this. Helping people has become a giant part of this. Um, so. I, you know. Well, I would just add, I, I think I can speak for all of us and everyone watching who has fallen so in love with you over these 19 years and previous, like myself. You know, we, we knew what we were experiencing together for the coming out episode and what it meant and the cultural shift that it made. And I'm gonna get emotional because I get to be here in these last weeks with you all. But I hope you're able to take in what in these last 19 years it has meant to be in America's living room every day and the profound cultural shift you have yet again made by allowing the world to get to love the authentic, true you with the subtleties of sharing what you and your wife did for dinner last night. There is a profound paradigm shift. So I am here to witness yet again another profound paradigm shift. And thank you. And I hope you take that in. Because we're so blessed by that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. You just made me take it in, so I take it in. Thank Good. you so much. Now I have to plug your movie. Jurassic, <laughs> Jurassic World Dominion is in theaters June 10th. I love you so much, and, uh, and thanks for, for that. Thank, thank you for we'll everything. Be we'll be back. We love you.